Hey everyone, Joey here and it's October and poor Surfside Pier. It's been closed for a few weeks now. It's a little bright, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. It's been closed for a few weeks now and I wanted to share with you guys how Maury's Pier is closed as their pier for the year. I mean, it's actually kind of cool because a lot of their stuff gets taken off the pier and sometimes stored like right here in the facility or in the go-kart sake right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and share this with you. Before I do, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Now one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video for you guys is because this is the first year that they are closing up the runaway tram. Well, it's its first season, that's why. And so I wanted to know what they're gonna do to it to close it up. And the reason for that is because it has a different kind of mechanism when it goes up the lift hill, it doesn't get pulled up by a chain, instead it's multiple motors. And what's cool is to store them, especially with all the salt and the really crazy weather we have in this winter time, um, I assumed that they'd be taking the motors off, and they are. They took the train out of the platform and took the motors off of the lift hill. So it's, it's kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and we're gonna do a walking tour, starting here in Dinosaur Beach and making our way to the other side. And then I'll throw the drone up for a little bit. It's a little windy, so the shots may not be as still as possible. I am sorry about that, but uh, let's do this. Just off the bat, you can already see that all the flags are gone. I mean, the flag in the atmosphere, which is not this bald devil back here, is gone. The flag that was on the flitzer and the flags that are around the photo booths and the flags that were at the ticket booth are also down. And as we're walking along, you can also notice that some of the rides have been covered or the tops of the rides have been taken off. Let me flip the camera around. Here you could see the Magic Bike flag and some of its props are inside the Joe's, I guess you call that the seating area where they eat. Um, as we make our way down the pier, you notice once again the flags are gone here at the ticket office. And here's the runaway tram. You notice there's no tram inside, no tram whatsoever. And you'll notice these little yellow things going across the boards right around here. Those are the motors that would pull you up the lift hill. The winters are kind of harsh here, so it makes a lot of sense for them to go ahead and take them down. You don't want them to get ruined. And so we're gonna make our way to the front of the pier to give you guys kind of views down the slots. Now, I don't think there's gonna be much construction going on on Surfside Pier with the exception of Dante's, which is still rumored. Uh, we don't know 100% yet if it's going to happen, but um, as far as I know, not too much is gonna happen on this pier. Now, Mariner's Landing, on the other hand, there will be some things happening. Stay tuned for that. As you can see, those are the parts of the Magic Bikes. It looks like they have a decent amount of it away. Now, during the winter time, um, if I remember last year, they put all the cars over here and they sat there all winter, they'll cover them. Some of the other cars get put inside that warehouse I showed you earlier. Let's continue our tour. On that video, you can see that they have made some of the preparations to close off some of the other rides, such as the motorcycles. They have them lined up together, which they'll bring in the warehouse. And then if you saw those crates, if I remember correctly, those crates actually belong to the very tippy top. You see up here in the corner, uh, the top of the carousel. If I remember correctly, those get put into those crates and then hauled away to the warehouse. Kind of cool. Now there we could see Kanga Bounce is pretty much taken apart. You can see all the trash cans put together in one corner and not really too much yet. Once again, I'm expecting Dante's to get a refurbishment this year. Still rumored. Um, so I don't know if we can see when we put the drone up, if we can see pieces of it laying out. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's gonna happen until in the winter time or maybe even the spring, if it does happen. But um, we'll do one look down the side of the pier and then we'll get the drone up. Mm -hmm. 
Now, right here, you can see the rock and roll cars. You can see they started taking the part of the back tarp is off, the top tarp is off. Here are all the benches, and here's the other part of Kanga. Now, that's all I can see just from walking around. Now, I'll put the drone in the sky, and we'll get a bird's eye view to see any changes that I missed. If I missed anything, make sure you go ahead and comment below. Um, if I pick up anything, I'll mention it. So, here we go. Oh, and as a reminder, as I say in every drone video I do with the piers, it's a rule you have to be 200 feet away from any pier, even if it's closed, even if it's winter time, always 200 feet away from the piers. Seriously, please follow it. So the wind really picked up and you could probably hear it in my microphone and probably see it in the shots because the shots were not as smooth as normally as I fly. So I apologize about that. But did you see anything that I didn't catch? It does look like that Dante's has its cars sitting outside of the building. So maybe the rumors are true. Anyway, I gotta go. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the beach. See ya.